Hi, I'm Naomi Richmond reporting for Chawa. This week, the comment team have decided to investigate what's going on behind Aussie's huge deficits. We will be interviewing Stefan Baskerville, the Aussie president, as well as JCR presidents, to find out what's going on behind the scenes. Why do you think this um, problem is caused? Why do you think Aussie has had such a financial deficit for the past a year on year, really? Aussie has had financial troubles for much of the last decade, um, and that uh, comes down to a fundamental fact, which is that the way that Alzu is funded mismatches what Alzu does. Uh, the vast majority of Alzu's activities um, are provided to everyone, uh, regardless of which common room or college they're in. Uh, every student has uh, the right to use Alzu services. The Student Advice Service has seen 270 students since last July. We represent all students. At, uh, at university decision-making bodies. Um, so all students use our services, uh, but we're not funded on that basis. We're funded by a subset uh, of students, which is those who attend affiliated common rooms uh, who fund us through affiliation fees. Right, and so would you um, believe that the abolishment of the common room fees is the best way to do it? Absolutely, yeah. I think that this, this, uh, the, the, the next uh, few months constitute a really exciting opportunity uh, where we can establish once and for all that all students are, are members of Alzu. they'll be members of the company, um, that they can receive Alzu services regardless of which college they're in, uh, <clears throat> that common rooms uh, can have, continue to have uh, votes in Aozu Council, uh, but won't need to decide whether they have votes in Aozu Council on the basis of finances. Um, and Aozu would be resourced in a way that means it could deliver what it does to students and to common rooms, because we do a lot of work in supporting common room officers, um, without the instability and the uncertainty that's generated by affiliation fees. So I, I, I just think the choice is really clear. Um, if we agree with the principle that all students should be members of their students' union, um, then I think it's, uh, it follows very logically that we should fund the students' union to deliver activities to all of its members, and that's all students. We go down a much better route if we do away with common room affiliation fees and we convince university to actually fund us properly. They do give us funding at the moment, but if you go to all Russell Group universities, places like uh, UCL, they, the university gives the student union £98 per student. Uh, Warwick, uh, the student union gets £91 per student. Alzu gets £11.50 per student. Now if we convince the university to increase that just to about £17 or £18, then we could get rid of affiliation fees. You'd give the Alzu officers um, much more ammo and resources to go out and actually work for students. And we wouldn't have these destructive disaffiliation debates debates every single week about whether our student union is a good thing or whether it's doing a good job. We can actually focus on the issues which at the moment get completely ignored amongst everything else. And do you think the university is perhaps hesitant to increase the grant due to the huge deficits that increase year on year? Well, I don't see why it should be. First of all, Alzu has made a deficit in something like eight of the last ten years. That does, that's, you know, that's indicative of a structure that's gone wrong and where its uh, sources of income are completely unstable. I think Alzu um, is suffering a, a crisis really uh, in the sense that the perception of it increasingly amongst students is that it's not particularly good value for money and that's because the headlines are year on year Alzu is recording more and more of a deficit. Um, now this isn't my personal view, I think Alzu is still good value for money uh, as a common room president but what I don't uh, agree with is that it should keep recording these deficits. So. What Aussie really needs to do is to convince the students, I think, um, that their perception is ungrounded and actually that the money that common rooms are using to affiliate uh, with Aussie is being put to good use. What do you feel about the current setup Aussie has with JCRs and their ability to affiliate and disaffiliate? Um, disaffiliation is certainly something that's quite topical here in Christchurch. Personally, um, I think it's great that colleges have the choice to either disaffiliate or affiliate. Um, however, it's always a shame because obviously Aussie still has to provide services to individual students, just not necessarily to those colleges. So it seems a shame that people choose to opt out, um, but then they still receive the benefits of being a member of Aussie. This debate was brought to you by the comment team at Chowell. Join the debate online and share your opinions.